Because, I mean, when growing up in the house with him, I was around Pimp C, Bum B, Lil Flip, Kiki. I was around them. Pump the brakes. You call right the magical there. names. You call the magical names. You was around Pimp C. Smoke yeah. some bitch. Man, man, wait a minute. We finna yeah, stop this whole life. interview. I'm <laughs> being real with you. Going yeah, down. Yeah, a Pimp C oh, no. story. Uh, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. <laughs> Tell us about growing up with your dad. Because being Ooh. Ronnie Spencer, the man that he is, and let me tell you, I love his voice. We looked him up and listened Girl, to some music. Girl, I've been music. thinking that nigga was the eyes of brothers for 15 <laughs> years, nigga. Let's be real. No, no, no. Gonna, we got to get it clear, though. No, I ain't going to lie. Ask her about I that song. Really, I say this nigga is done trick. They done tricked me. It might have been thought, Isley brother on there. I, I you don't know the for a fact was it was him. I, 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 I heard the nigga sing it on one day. I said, that was the day I'm out. Was that him? That's my dad. The whole time. The whole, the whole time, time. I thought that was Ron Isley. And I'm the biggest he fan. He sounds just like Bro, him. Bro, I'm telling you right now. I've, I've been in my mind. I'm saying, how in the hell Pimp C, them, Chad, them, no, no damn Ron is spilling. I'm not Ron Spill, but Ron Isley. No, that was my daddy. That's dope, man. I, and, and I'm telling you, I did not realize it because I did not care about nothing but Pimp C. I ain't going to lie to yep. you. Yeah. I was a Pimp C fan, and then I, I'm still is, but it was like <laughs> nothing else really mattered. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm but being when real. he found that, but when I found that, I blew my mind. He had to. He looked up all of Ronnie Spencer's song, and we we comparing voices, trying to figure out if this is really him. Yeah. So he has a song with Ronald Isley. That's dope. Really? And you gotta really listen. What's the name of it? <laughs> it's called Hold On. It's not out yet. We are trying to get him to put it out. We trying to get him for like the fall or the winter because the he song needs is real to. mellow. They gonna sound just alike. But you gotta really listen to, to it see which one is not, who. Yes, yeah, so you'll think it's just Ronald Isley. Wow, confusing. wow, I got good him. song though. It's a good song. I believe you. Who man. wrote it? So actually, they it was a joint thing. So um, Ronald Isley wrote his verse. Daddy wrote his verse, and then they kind of collabed on the hook. Okay, were you there when they did it? No, I wasn't there. I was Aww. at the babysitter, unfortunately. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to bring me. Wow. But my dad actually went to his house, went to St. Louis and laid it there with um D Rec, no D Dirty Dollar. How long the whole, ago was like, that? The Shop family. I had to be every bit of like ten. Yeah. And my daddy just been holding on to that song, holding on to it. Why do why do artists do that? They'll drop something but don't drop it, but they'll, you know, lay it and then hold on to it for years. I don't know. Well my dad it was more of like sentimental values and then they wanted to shoot a video to it too, but then Ronald Isley fell sick. So my dad was like, Well, I'm gonna just hold on to it until, you know, I talk to his people and it's the right time to put it out. So hopefully it's the right time because I like the song. So going back to being um, Ronnie Spencer's daughter. Tell us about that. My daddy's strict, like big strict. Um, once he found out I wanted to do music, he can't, I can't even describe it. My daddy is one of them people, if this is what you want to do, and I started investing my time and my money in it, you better take it seriously, because if you don't, you only get one shot. My daddy's a one shot type mm. person. So once I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. Voice lessons, opera training. We did ballet. We did dance. We did you said to the we. max. Do you have siblings that did also? Nope, just me and my dad. I'm the only child on my dad's side. Oh. So yeah, any anything that had to do with like music, production, anything to make you better and greater as an artist, I did it. I can imagine how he felt. To know that his child wanted to come up in his shoes. He was happy. I, I can imagine. He's happy. He's happy. No, I can't imagine. It was a setup to hold No, time. I can imagine. Every because you wanted man. to do it. It's not that he was forcing you to do it. It's yeah. different when yeah, I wanted to do it. your child wants to do something that you do and find the love in it compared to you're like, you need to do this because I already paved the way. Right. You need to go ahead and do this with me. And, you know, most kids are like, no, I want to yeah. I want to go here. I want to yeah. do this. I never had man, anything else I wanted to do. Because, I mean, when growing up in the house, with him, I was around Pimp C, Bum B, Lil Flip, Kiki. I was around them. Uh, pump the brakes. <laughs> you call right the magical there. names. You call the magical names. You That's was around it. Pimp C? Yes. Man, man. man. wait, wait a minute. minute. We better stop this whole interview. <laughs> I'm being real with you. He Give loves me a, a Pimp C story. story. Um, that you can remember. That, yeah, but she, 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 she um, did. I'm 28. So either she yeah, did or either good. she didn't, man. Either she lying or either she did. I can give you one that I really do remember. Um, yeah, you hear what I just said? Either <laughs> she lying or we going to put on Don't never. I just talked to Heezy Leo the other week. Don't do this, man. No, I got you. Um, we went to the zoo. 
I mean, we wasn't supposed to go to the zoo, but we ended up going to the zoo. It was my dad, Pimp C, and then Pimp C's son. Okay. And Pimp C, people think that it's a character. He ain't no character. That's him. That's him all the time. The way he talks in his songs, he talks in real life. Wow. My dad mimics him. So the whole time we at the zoo, Pimp C, Ronnie, look at that bird. My daddy, I see that bird. So, you know, <laughs> why are you talking like that? But he, he he's not a character. It was all real. Wow. Nothing, he never faked anything. Nothing was for the cameras. And like, the love he has just, for the South, is that's him. Deep. Like, that is. Uh, he don't play by Texas or no. South or period. He don't play. No. And it was even, I like to say that Pimp was kind of like an uncle because my grandmother didn't play about Pimp either. Wow. Like, at all. We would go and visit him, Mama Wes. Like, they were family. You're talking about when he was on the Tarot Unit? Yes. You yes. used to go to the prison yes. to visit. We went to wow. go and visit him. Well, how was that? Just like going to visit I mean, visit what a did you, you were just, you, how like, was you? You was young. No, I was like, yeah, I was young. I was probably like 10 or 10 11, 11, somewhere in that area. So you just watched. You didn't ever say nothing to him. You like, he. he no, I go talk to him. Um, was that, was that, what was that? Like the visit was, it was just like sitting here. Yeah, like yeah, my grandmother was, had it to where she could have contact visits yes. with him. So he would sit across the table and then we would sit on the other side. But it wasn't anything like weird or different. Yeah, that's yeah. so funny. Same. He was a celebrity there Correct, too. correct. Yeah, so I sure. mean, people were coming to visit and it'd be like, is that pimp? I'll walk up to him and be like, can I just shake your head? My grandmother kind of looked like. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm visiting. <laughs> I'm visit, that's but. right. <laughs> He would still do it, but wow. Pimp is... That's okay, because I know a lot of people... Place yeah, 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 I bet he does. How was that when he passed away for you? Um, Sorry about that, babe. It was unbelievable. Um, sorry. <laughs> it no, was. Uh, good. It was... You don't, you don't... You couldn't believe it. And then the way that they, they, they described it, he was in L.A. Yeah. It was just a shocker, because yeah. he was... He was great. He was going to go and do great things. Of course. Like... He, he had the city on his back. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.